probability. So what is probability? Probability is the likelihood of getting a certain outcome. It's calculated using this formula. The desired outcome, which is the outcome that you want, divided by all possible outcomes. So let's look at some example problems to put this formula into practice. So let's say we have a bag, and it's filled with five pink marbles, six yellow marbles, nine blue marbles, and ten green marbles. And let's say you pull one marble out of the bag, and we want to know the likelihood of it being yellow or green. So going back to our formula, let's start with all possible outcomes. How many possible outcomes is there? Well, it could be any marble in the bag that you drew out, so all possible outcomes would be the total number of marbles. So what is 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10. Well, 10 plus 9 is 19, 5 plus 6 is 11, and 11 plus 19, that would be 30. So there is a total of 30 marbles and 30 possible outcomes for our problem here. So now we want to know what is the likelihood of this marble being yellow or green. So we want a yellow or green marble. So let's put the number of yellow marbles, and then let's add that to the number of green marbles. So our desired outcome is yellow or green, which is going to be 6 or 10. So it's going to be one of these 6 yellow marbles or one of these 10 green marbles. So what is this fraction going to be equal to? Well, 6 plus 10, that's easy. 16 divided by 30. So now let's simplify this. We can divide both of those by 2, and we would get 8 over 15. And it doesn't seem like we can simplify this anymore. So the likelihood of us getting our desired outcome of yellow or green is going to be 8 over 15. And we can actually write this as a percentage if we want. So if we put 8 divided by 15 in our calculator, that is going to be 0.53, and then we can multiply that by 100. So there is a 53% chance of getting a yellow or green marble. Rebecca tosses a coin four times. What is the likelihood all four tosses land on tails? So for our formula for probability, we need to know all possible outcomes. So let's think through how many possible outcomes there is. So we toss the coin four times. So for each toss, how many outcomes is there going to be? Well, it could be heads or tails. So that is going to be two outcomes. So if each toss has two outcomes, then we just multiply 2 for the first toss, multiplied by 2 for the second toss, times 2, times 2. This is going to be equal to 2 to the 4th. So 2 to the 4th is going to be our number of outcomes, and that's going to be equal to 16. So there is 16 total outcomes. But what is the outcome that we're looking for? Well, we're looking for tails. All four tosses on tails. So that is going to be... So we're looking for the outcome tails, 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 tails. And that outcome is only going to happen if all four tosses land on tails. We're only looking for one possible outcome. Tails, 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 tails. So if we go back to our formula, 
the desired outcome is going to be one of those, which is tails, 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 tails. And then there is 16 possible outcomes. So the likelihood of all four tosses landing on tails is 1 16th. A circle is inscribed inside a square. If a point inside the square is selected at random, what is the probability that the point will also be inside the circle? So if we just select a point at random, what is the likelihood that th these that that point would be inside the circle or outside of it. So what are all the possible outcomes for the location of our point? Well, that's going to be inside of the square. And inside of the square is going to be the area of the square. But what is the area of the square? Now, we don't have any side links, so we can't exactly calculate that. So let's look at our circle, which is going to be the inside of our circle is going to be our desired outcome. That's where we want it, inside of the circle. So let's say our radius is r. So what is the inside of the circle? Well, that's going to be the area of the circle, which is going to be pi times r squared. So now that we have a radius, even though it's just r, we know that our diameter, we know that our diameter is going to be 2 times r. And our diameter is also going to be equal to the length across the square, which is also going to be equal to the side length. So this side length here is going to be 2 times r. And this one would also be 2 times r. So our area of the square, which is all possible outcomes, is going to be 2 times r squared. So now we can just simplify this and get our answer. So pi r squared divided by, well, 2r squared is going to be 4r squared is going to be r squared. And we can cancel our r squared, and our answer is going to be pi over 4. So the chance of our random point being inside of the circle is pi over 4.